Okay, so here's a little demonstration of how my test bench is going to be set up and also of the, the Taramps smart charger. So I have the smart charger, of course, plugged into this power strip. And so I'm going to use this button here or this uh, toggle switch to turn it off and on. Then here is the, uh, the clamp meter. This is number two and I have it on this little tablet and then I'm going to hit the relativity button to, to zero it out. And you can see it'll uh, zero out here and it's also on the screen here on the tablet. So let's just uh, go ahead and turn it on and, and note, you know, that this is, you know, replicates the screen. And the reason I did that is so I don't have to have this in the actual screenshot because when I have the amplifier hooked up, this is going to be over here somewhere, you know, on the, uh, the desk out of the screen, you know. So that's why I chose to get this little tablet to uh, have it in the screen so we can uh, estimate amplifier efficiency going, you know, in the future. All right, so now I'm going to turn it on. And then I've got it set to full power mode, 14.4 volts. And right here is 14.3 volts on this stinger right here. So this right here, this stinger, I've got it set because, you know, you've got a potentiometer. You can see we've got 61 amps of current, 60 amps of current going in to the battery bank and it's continually dropping because the battery bank is near full or, or near the voltage set point of the smart charger. So you can see it is right now it's 14.6 on the smart charger digital readout. And it's 14.4 here on this Stinger uh, voltmeter. And I was going to say earlier, just a little while ago, it's got a little tremor potential right here where you can adjust the uh, readout on the screen. And I did adjust that according to one of my voltmeters. Um, and, you know, it, and it matches up. Actually, actually, um, measured, uh, uh, adjusted the Stinger uh, voltmeter with my SMD AMM1, uh, the voltmeter function on the AMM1. So this one uh, should be closer than that one up there. That one up there, that's coming straight off of the uh, the smart charger itself. And sometimes, you know, your volt, your, you will have voltage drop uh, from your power source to your battery bank. So, and, and plus, you know, the, the, the readout, the voltmeter on that unit uh, may be off a little bit, but that uh, SMD AMM1, it was reading, uh, or I adjusted the stinger according to the SMD AMM1 unit. Uh, so you see, we, can, we still have 32 apps of current going in. Um, so whenever I use this battery bank on amplifier tests, um, it'll be able, capable of holding about 40,000 watts on bursts. And then in between the, the testing, that smart charger right there, it will bump the voltage back up to where it needs to be. You know, the, the 14 and a half volts starting at 14.4 right here. 14.4, uh, because that's where amplifiers are rated nowadays. You know, back in the day, you know, a lot of amplifiers that were rated at 12.6 volts, uh, because you know, that's about where your standard battery voltage is. But nowadays it's different. So I won't go into that, but uh, we're at 14.4 volts here. And uh, I'm liking this uh, this Tarap smart charger. This test bench, it, it's coming together pretty nicely. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll post some updates later when I get some more stuff done. That's it for this one.